Hey guys, Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives and uh, we're here today with Brett and uh, when I came in here the other day I, I noticed this uh, camper trail and I thought man that looks really unique. So we thought we'd have a look at it with you guys and show you what we've got here. So Brett, what have you got sitting here mate? Yeah, g'day Robert, it's a Jimboomba camper trail, yep. originally a soft floor. I uh, just had a, a 80 litre water tank with a hand pump and a battery we had fitted to it. Yep, yep. Uh, we've got it custom made now with a water pump, electric pump being put on, uh, the new walk-up hard top, yeah, clamshell so, roof top. Yep. So have a look at this guys. So here's the uh, actual uh, clamshell uh, roof top tent you can put on top of your camper trailer. But she isn't up high like all the other ones, she's down low. And uh, you put in the kitchen here as well by looks of it, hey? Yep. Pull out no return with a 60 litre fridge freezer. So they've got the um, the, the standard uh, drifter drifterized kitchen um, and uh, and uh, fridge sitting in there. And so these guys are lockable, aren't they? Yep. There's the push button. So you slide it out, slide her in, and you put your stove. I imagine all that in the other side over here, eh? Right? Yeah. It came with the uh, we bought the Primus red yep. stove. Yep. 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 Sink. Yeah, yeah, and your hose goes off over the side over there, and away you go. Underneath, yep. Great. Got the... Mate, mate, that's awesome. And it's a full seven foot trailer, so, so full length. Full length. Foot. Yep. Yep. And so they've got their bedding and all that just up top there, guys. So that's where you can go to bed, and they've got the fan up top there as well, uh, with their lights and all that. And I mean, to me, when I was looking at it, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, that could just be a standard trailer. You know, if you if you just wanted to start off, you could actually just start off with a standard trailer and maybe put something like this on top of it. And uh, I think that well, looks like they've gone and put uh, a larger awning on this guy as well. So you said we were saying before that uh, was it Luke um, uh, made the awning there for you? Yeah, the front part. Yeah, it's like Crazy Dog puts zips on the end of these now. Yeah, and yep, then yep. Drifter made a awning to go out the back of it. Okay, so it covers the whole kitchen. Sit out here, out of the sun. That's great, isn't it? That's and uh, see, the, the, the camper doesn't, it's not anything flash, mate. It's, you know, sitting there, so she's, she's not, you know, right up off the ground or anything like that. Looks like a standard box trailer in some ways. But uh, this was, uh, they originally used to have like a canvas tent on top of that, didn't you? Yeah, there's a soft floor, folded out this side. Yep, yep. Um, full room and then annex out the back. At the back, yep. yeah. So tell me, why did you go this way? What, what, what drove you to go this way? Uh, Hard, it's quite hard on your back trying to close the soft floor all the time yep, um, and yep. my wife had a bit of trouble with it. Yeah. So we were saying easier if we can both put it up and put it down and especially when you're travelling, yep. it's, if we go for more than two nights we'll take the camper, otherwise yep. it was just too hard setting up every night Okay. and you always needed grass, yep. whereas now you can park on dirt, gravel, car parks, it doesn't matter, yep. you can park wherever you want, set it up and pop in, go to bed. Go to bed, yeah. that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yep. We um, we did a trip down to Victoria and that would be perfect for you because you just you could pull up mm. and jump in the bed, it'd be, be great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And they've got a battery system up the front here, guys. Um, so they've got their battery sitting down in, in here. Yep. Uh, along with their, it's their C-Tech charger, I think you said? Yes, yeah, C-Tech. So I've got that sitting in there as well, guys. And uh, on the other side, he's got his solar panel. So you were talking maybe in the future, perhaps putting a solar panel up top up there on the roof? Yeah, we've um, discussed that. Just probably find the correct measurements that fit. Yeah, um, yep. Bit of angle screwed into here. And uh, and, and away you go. It up, yeah, and, and then run the lead into the C-Tech, which, which is a solar ready yeah. C-Tech as well. How big is the water tank? 80 litre. Yeah, okay. Yep. And that does you, does you fine? Yes, perfect, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. We carry water in the car as well if we need to. Yeah, so. it's great. I know yeah. your car set up pretty well, guys. Eh? They yeah. got their, their drifter drawers in the back in there by the looks of it. Yes. And um, yeah, their their Waco fridge um, sitting in over the other side. Yep. The flat fridge. Um, did you make any of that yourself, or? I made the kitchen myself. Yep. Just yep. with the fold down door to keep those storage containers closed. Okay. Um, and a little side pocket here. Yep. Yep. For a fire extinguisher and a cooker. Yep. So we can cook here when we're travelling. Got water. Fridge. Oh, that's awesome. Um, batteries behind there and there's yep. Yep. Um, switch penalty for lights. Okay. 
and whatnot. So they've got all their, all their electric sitting yep. in there, guys. So And a solar panel on the roof. That's awesome, isn't it? All right, guys, I hope that helps you out. It's um, just a quick little walk around of uh, a basic setup, and I think they've done a brilliant job of it, guys. So uh, we'll catch you next episode. Cheers. <laughs>